What's up everyone? Welcome back to Arch Valley. I'm Arch Anthony, and this is the third episode in the series. Um, for this episode, I'll just go through what I made over the last week. I'm starting off with this food court area. Uh, like I said in the last episode, I'm not a huge fan of buildings, so this actually took me quite a lot of time to uh, finish. At first, there was this giant building with like an indoor area that was kind of uh, reminiscent to the Overlook uh, food court in Hershey Park. At least that was what I was going for. But it was just it was too large and it just seemed out of place in this area. So I scrapped all that. It was actually like from here and then to the wall, but it was really tall. Uh, so I scrapped all that, turned it into like an outdoor f food and eating place, and then there's a path that goes around and wraps around the building and it I think realistically the building should probably be like too deep so that they'd have like a f kitchen to, to make and cook the food and the staff area would go back into that. But this was just like kind of a quick, you know, just get this done because I don't want to work on buildings very often, very much uh, kind of thing. Uh, with the paths, it ended up not being centered and to delete it, like I'll tr show you what I mean, like to delete this that leaves that little bit there. And if I delete that, it all goes away. So it's there. I'm, I don't want to deal with, you know, redoing it all. So this is a little bit longer than this. And then the gap is not even. Uh, but if you just look at it quickly, you can't really tell. Um, and then I, I continued the like the North American trees and bushes, continue that over here, just to kind of close it in. Um, I think the, I think I plan on building this mountain up to make it look like it's kind of like in this little, you know, valley in this mountain, and not have it just be like level. Um, I think I added this since last time. It's just another the den, like entrance from the other what from the other end because like I said in the last video um, this is gonna be like the traditional entrance to the zoo so having you know the entrance to the den be over on this side didn't really make a lot of sense and also I included two more wolves which completes the pack um, and then from there I actually did get a decent amount of work done this week which was surprising uh, I continued the staff it gave another staff entrance on this side and then there's also a power uh, over in that mountain in that cave um, because the power is the biggest problem I have with the game right now is that they're the power in the water they don't uh, have a, as big of a radius as I'd like like you need them pretty frequently and they're, they kind of take up a lot of space and they need a separate path and they need to be out of the way and all these things that, you know, it, I don't really enjoy it in my sandbox experience. Like, I wish I could turn that off like I can do with some of the animal stuff. Um, so, yeah, so I just have this path that goes down uh, further into the park. I didn't really realize how far these were off the path. I guess i got to fix that. Um, but then this is a... The closest I could get to, like, a rope bridge um, that's kind of a stereotypical you know, rainforesty kind of thing as a rope bridge uh, but I you, obviously you can't do like you know planks separate uh, with having a path that goes through it so I, mean, I just did what I could with the you know the board that boardwalk kind of looking path with the ropes which took me a lot longer to make than I'd like to admit I don't know what was going on with the building tool that was messing me up um, then I kind of you kind of transition into like a tropical area with lots of palm trees. Um, I think this is kind of just like a first pass. Like this is like right beside the path. There's not a whole lot, as you can kind of see. There's not a whole lot of like jungleish area uh, besides that. And I think I'm gonna fill that in instead of kind of filling in with the jungle. I think I'm gonna fill in instead with the North American. And the reason being is that this was an area that was purchased by the zoo after it was already a state park. So, you know, tearing out a bunch of trees that are maybe not fit with the theme, but it just kind of seems like a 
like not the thing that a zoo would do. I think a zoo would kind of try to theme around what was already there. So like putting in these palm trees like right next to the path, you know, maybe over here there's some, you know, like pine trees and stuff like that. Okay, so you just follow down this path. And it, it goes on for quite a while. I'm actually kind of uh, surprised that the guests don't mind walking this far. Um, but the, from what I can tell, the only South American animal in the game right now is the tapirs. Uh, so I you know, build a habitat for them. They seem to enjoy it. Got the lily pads on the water. Oh, oh, oh. It is very, oh, oh, wow. It is very dense. I tried to make it as dense as I could while, you know, giving the guests like a good viewing experience. Um, I will say there's not as many uh, South American plants as I'd like. That might be coming with the patch that there a DLC that adds more animals. Uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so I just inc I included a cave here for them to sleep. They kind of just build it into the mountain. I kind of just you know envisioned that this was already here, and they could do kind of just you know, use this as their habitat. There's the staff entrance in the back that the guests can't see. Uh, got some like rubbing pads. I got some water. And the forge up hole, which is actually stinky, I guess they pooped under it and they can't clean it, that's my guess. So I'll, I'll just move it for now. Oh, maybe the food is rotten? Doesn't seem the food's rotten, but it's still stinky. Oh, oh well, Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, oh, they're gonna get it. Okay, yeah, there was, no, maybe there's, a, maybe there's poop in here and they just can... Oh, they can get it in. Okay, I'll just I'll move it back then. Uh, but yeah, no, I had a, a more difficult time like this detail on this one just because there's not a lot of tropical stuff to fill a habitat with as much as like in the beta they didn't like a lot of coverage, but they don't even have as much coverage as they'd like. Uh, but it just using the same plants over and over again just seemed to not really look that great. In the beta, I think they only liked like a little bit of coverage because I made a habitat for them and it was difficult to not cover it as much. Uh, so maybe that's just something that changed. I'll go back and look at that habitat a little bit later. Um, but yeah, so we, we just continue down this hill again. This isn't detailed at all, obviously. Uh, I, I think I'm going to try to carry the tropical stuff along the path and then, like I said, fill in the spaces with the North American stuff. Um, and then from here, obviously, you can see I tried to do a big tree. Uh, the trees in the game it didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. Uh, I started out with these big uh, kapok trees, but the um, trunks of these are very thin, and it took like literally hundreds of them to make a circle. It just didn't look, it looked too tall. And then, because of what I'm doing is having them, the guests be underneath, I can't like sh shrink them because then the most of the trunk will be in the in their guests' um, space. So I had to switch up to the Wimba tree, which is obviously much shorter, but I think it works out. It w looks better, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe I'll go back and work on it some more. You know, I think this side, which I filled out with some rocks and just kind of made more look look more natural. I think it looks uh, because of the habitat. I didn't just do one side. Uh, but maybe if I do that on all sides it'll look a little bit better. I don't know. Um, we'll do we'll go look at this first and then we'll go inside. Um, so yeah, this is the pangolins. I think I'm saying that right. Pangolins. Um, I wanted to include them and the aardvark even though they are not you know, South American animals. I just liked the idea of having things that primarily ate bugs um, near the bug house. Um, so yeah, so the pangolins, they're very, they're much smaller. Oh, my planet zoo crashed. Nice. Okay, well I'll cut when I'm back in. Okay, I'm back. Uh, that was weird. This is the first time uh, the sandbox mode has crashed on me, just like full out. You know, 
game shut down completely. Uh, kind of thing that's happened since the beta, really. Um, but yeah, but yeah, the pangolins. They're a lot smaller than I thought they were. Um, the artwork's fairly large, I've looked and seen, but... Because I don't have that made yet. Um, but, yeah, so I, originally I made this habitat all the way back here. Uh, and then I, like, I fully detailed it, like, I didn't even put them down, I was like, I'm just gonna have them be 100% out of the gate. And then I made it, and there was, like, a burrow in the middle of the habitat, and it was all covered in trees, and all looked great. And I put them in, and they were so small that I was like, the guest, there's no way a guest from way back here can see that thing from, no, it's not gonna happen. So I shrunk it in half, it's still, I think, like, five times as big as it needs to be, oh, two, a little... A little over two times as big as it needs to be, but it just—I don't know. I don't know. I needed to fill the space. I wanted to get at least back to this little like, because this was a ridge before I flattened it out. But this was like a little ridge, so I wanted to at least get to that. They have a lot of space. I wish there was something that had to do with like, if there was a lot of space, maybe have more, and maybe they like stuck to themselves. Because I would have like up to five of them if I could, but they don't want. Um, anymore. So I only stuck with three. But, yeah, they have, like, the anteater termite mound th thing. And they also gave them forage, blo forage box, but they only really seem to eat out of this. The keepers don't even fill this up. Um, they ha have a burrow, like, which is too large for them. But, like I said, maybe this is just sort of like a cave or little den thing that was in the park originally and the zoo just kind of repurposed it. Wow, what's this? Social stress. Oh yeah. The tapers get stressed a lot. Very quickly. That's why I gave them this area back here. They could chill out, but they don't seem to do it. It goes away pretty quickly, but they're very uh, prone to stress. Uh, but anyhow. Um, yeah, so I tried to make this one a little bit more you know, Asian themed Tropica. Um, there's a lot of bamboo. Um, a lot of like lower, because they're so small, like some like low like ferns and things like that. You know, as well as like the big trees to kind of, you know, draw the eye of the guests. Um, oh, this one's floating. Uh, but yeah, no, I like to, I think a theme that you can see and this is, okay, we'll get this in a second. Uh, a theme that you'll see in my uh, habitats is that I like to have, like, the enrichment items very open so the guests can see them. Um, so, like, the termite mound isn't, like, in the middle of these trees. It's very much out in the open. Um, the one exception, I guess, like, I didn't even really realize it, but I kind of did hide the rubbing pad. Um, you know, just to give them... They don't really seem to be as shy. They kind of just hang out. Although, I have read that this is like what they do, well, and this is when he's sleeping, but one of their animations is to just kind of roll around and like ball themselves up, which in real life is what they do when like that predator, when a predator is around, but they seem to do it a lot. It doesn't have anything to do with them being stressed, this is kind of one of the animations that the game put, that Frontier put in, but, but yeah, okay, so uh, going into the treehouse. Um, originally I had this more, much more like building like, but it kind of just seemed too manufactured and so I replaced it, I put these two kapak trees, however you say that, uh, in the front, I kind of liked how like the roots, you know, went over the path. I'm still not settled on this path, I might replace it with like a floor that kind of like goes over it, um, to blend these like because how the path works because it auto connects to these things and you can't get everything to work out even if you set it as grid you know there are some you know, gaps every once in a while um, but yeah this is pretty much every non reptile uh, exhibit animal that they have in the game currently it's a little disappointing that this is the only uh, desert themed one because the rest of them all have pretty much the same exact layout, and then there's just this random one that doesn't. Uh, but I'll 
going back to the theme of the last episode, uh, I found a bug uh, in the sandbox mode, at least for people who play with um, these game settings turned off. Disable and aging birth, animal aging and birth. Um, habitat animals, like these animals. Uh, with that setting on, they'll give, they'll get pregnant, but every month the pregnancy also gets pushed push, uh, push back a month, so it never happens. Uh, like my bison were pr pregnant for uh, pretty much, they got pregnant Im pretty much immediately and didn't have the calves until I turned off aging, anti-aging, so that my wolf would die. Uh, however, habitat animals seem to not follow that. Um, I don't know if they age. I actually haven't paid attention. That's actually probably something that I should pay attention to. Uh, I don't know if they actually do age, but they do have babies. So I was I was testing out something, I forget what it was, but I, I put them all in, not thinking anything of it. And then I put the game on full speed and then I walked away for a minute, and I came back, and there were, you know, literally hundreds. I think I'm going to post a p picture on the uh, subreddit of my snail exhibit, giant snails. There's just snails ever. Or this is not snails. This is the center. This is snails. But there were just snails, like, everywhere. And I took everything out of it, like the adrenchment items, just so that it was, like, very bare bones. And it was just, there was just snails everywhere. Because there was, like over 20 of them but so yeah so now they're all the animals are on contraceptives so contraceptives so they don't uh, have that problem anymore I'll have to keep track of if, if they're aging or not so I might have to replace them which would be kind of lame I you know I turned that stuff off because I didn't want to have to replace the animals every few years uh, well, that one's is that one different yeah that one's a little bit different it's not Maybe this one's a little bit different, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so that's basically all I think that I've done so far. I don't want this video to be, you know, outrageously long. It's, I mean, some of it's gonna get down. Oh yeah, I also uh, copied and pasted those staff buildings from the uh, behind the buffalo and the wolves um, to over here. I don't know. I connected this. I put these ones in just temporarily because the tapirs were the first thing I did. I didn't copy them over. They're just very generic, like pre-built in-game uh, buildings. And I just kind of connected the staff pass so the workshop, the work, uh, what are the mechanics could get back and forth. Uh, obviously, oh, I need a lot of terrain work. This is just very rough, and this needs all filled out. Um, but I think the next expansion is going to be the bridge that connects to the African area. Um, this is going to be... Is that water gone? Oh, no, it's, a, it's just very shallow. Uh, that's weird. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be a waterfall into the river. Guests walk behind the waterfall and then onto the bridge, which connects over here. And then we've got all the African animals to you know, deal with. I don't know if I want to you know, start this way and then work my way over, and then when I'm done, use the rest of the space for the parking lot or you know to start from this entrance and then build you know build this way so that you know kind of fill in I don't know what I'm gonna do yet I think it'll be easier to plan from from this way but then I have to like run you know staff buildings and paths that will get deleted or maybe won't get deleted then I have to yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use this part or not, like the river edge or not. Um, or if I'm going to use any of this. I had a th thought to maybe... I, I'm, I plan on connecting over here to the Asian area. I had a thought to kind of put like, like a work in progress kind of like coming soon part. Because the an Arctic DLC has to be the first one, right? So I've had a thought of maybe putting like a coming soon like detail piece around like an arctic area that would be over in this area. 
Um, but yeah, I think other than that, this is gonna be it for this episode. Yeah, I still have a lot of terrain work that I gotta do, like, it just takes time, and it's not something that is particularly fun to do, and it doesn't, like, you know, I can't make, like, a new video, like, oh man, I made terrain progress, like, that's not interesting. Um, so I've been working on it here and there, but, like, like this, I don't know if you even remember or could even see, but this was, like, very, like, bulgy and stuff, so I made this, like, look more like a cliffside. Like, this is gonna be, like, the edge of the zoo. Uh, but that, I mean, that didn't take me very long, but it was just something that was like, that. Ah, this isn't, you know, useful. Uh, and I kind of made the riverbed, like, a little bit more realistic as far as, like, having, you know, an actual, like, bank instead of just being, like, over here I didn't do it, but over here, like, I added in, like, a little bit of a bank. Uh, just trying to make it at least a little bit more realistic. But all that's like, you know, after the zoo's done, that's like stuff that I can work on to really like carry it out. Um, but yeah, I think the tree, getting the exhibits in, and then these two, and then the food court, which I actually really like. I don't, I didn't think I was gonna like it when I was working on it, and then when I finished it, I was like, is this even good? But the more I look at it, the more I like it. I should probably put a trash can over here, though. Uh, but yeah, I actually do like it. I changed the colors of these to fit the theme. I'm actually gonna... Nah. I wish there was an easier way to move both of these together, because this is like a facility. And this is just like a piece of scenery. They don't combine very well. Uh, because I, I want this to be like in the middle. But I, you know, whatever. Anyhow, enough rambling. Uh, we'll see you soon with hopefully something in Africa. Thanks for watching.